This is a high resolution, one meter pixel size digital elevation model from Maine's 2017 LiDAR collections. And this is the same data set, first from black and white into color, and then overlaid with a multi directional hill shade model, which forms a very pretty background to any number of maps. So now I'll show you how to get from the original data set to our pretty background. So let's go ahead and start. We have to go through Windows, Image Analysis. We have to select the elevation model, 2017 LiDAR DEM. We have to go into the Insert function or Add function. Now we right click on Identity function insert function, hillshade function. Let's first try the traditional hillshade type. This is as if you were taking a flashlight at 315 degrees just off from north at an angle of 45 degrees. This is how it's been done for decades if not hundreds of years. Okay, that's fine. It shows the terrain to an extent. But let's see the new multi-directional hillshade. So click on Add Function, right-click on Identity Function, Insert Function, Multi-Direct, not Multi-Directional, that's the old plugin. In Arc 10.6, we have this built into the default hillshade. So hillshade type is now multi-directional. Z-Factor in the old plugin used to default to 2, now it defaults to 1. Let's try both. Okay. Okay, so there's with a Z factor of 1, no exaggeration to the elevation. But let's try with the old default of 2. So again, click on Add Function, right click on Identity Function, Insert Function, Hillshade Function, Hillshade Type, Multi Directional. And we want a Z factor of 2, which used to be the, used to be the default for this plugin. Now that it's an integral part of ArcGIS, apparently it's defaulting to 1, but I like 2, and we'll see why. Boom, gorgeous. So this looks a little bit dark right now, but the first thing that we're going to do is set the transparency of this layer to 60%. So double click on the layer here, and we can go to Display, and Transparency, 60%. And that is what allows us to display the elevation model underneath this and see both at once. Didn't need to see that. So here is our hillshade. And before it looked a little bit dark. Now that we've set the transparency to 60%, it looks quite reasonable. So now we have our original data set as it came in. That doesn't look very good in black and white. So let's go ahead and change this color ramp. One click here color ramp to this, which shows lower elevations in this teal green and higher elevations as white. Pretty intuitive. OK, and boom, there it is. That still needs a little tweaking. This is a bit intense for a background. We want to have that sort of fade into the background. Let's set the transparency of that to 30%. That's pretty good. It might be a little too transparent on our Heel shade, let's try 40%. Okay. Now I might need a little bit more color, so let's change that to 20%. And that is looking like a pretty fine background for overlaying roads, rivers, lakes, other main subjects of our map. Let's go ahead and export that map and see what it looks like in its full resolution and glory. So it's only showing you a rough preview here. It's not showing you what it will ultimately look like, which at 300 dots per inch is like so. And isn't that a fine looking map? You can even see every little pile of slash that was left along these logging roads. You can see the road cuts in here, all these little access roads. You can see somebody's is that a 
field, is that a storage tank, whatever it happens to be. You can see the rocky outcrops. You can see the drumlins here where the glacier mowed right over that. All these lines in line with the direction of the travel of the glacier. Gorgeous map. Here's an old uh, gravel quarry. I shouldn't say old, maybe it's active. But this is mining out the old gravel and sand that was left in this esker, which again was an old glacial stream. Could have been on top of the glacier, could have been beneath the glacier, but when the glacier melted away, this band of sand was left. So that is how you get from the raw data, the raw high resolution digital elevation model, to a pretty background with the modern multi-directional hillshade.